Well, after weeks of negotiation, the Senate is moving a version of the House bill with amendments. The focus is on accountability and transparency. House Bill 814, the Speaker, Juvenile Law Reform. The impasse is over. After weeks of negotiation, on Thursday, the Senate advanced the House version of the Juvenile Law Reform Bill. But the Senate attached a number of amendments, including requiring a juvenile charged with car theft to get a child in need of supervision or SINS petition. This allows the youth or their family to qualify for a variety of services. Another amendment mandates DJS to give notice within 24 hours to the court, the state's attorney, and the child's attorney whenever the youth violates the terms of electronic monitoring. The Senate also inserted language that a juvenile accused of a first-time gun offense must have a pre-detention hearing while in DGS custody. School districts must come up with a policy to separately educate convicted child sex offenders. A proposed commission established to review DJS programs and services must hold its first meeting by June 1st. And the Senate changed the date of the law going into effect to November 1st. On House Bill 814 is hereby ordered passed for third reading. Senate changes to the bill still have to be voted on by the House. Sending this back, and I would hope it would be our, our hope that the House would concur with what we've done here. The Senate could pass the bill as early as tomorrow. No word yet on when the House will take a look at those changes and vote. The session ends midnight Monday. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.